Today I'm fishing with the local legend Brent Shermer. We're going out on his boat to look for a snook, redfish, trout, and whatever bites. Hopefully we crush it today. Hey, what's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here with my buddy Brent Shermer from See Ya Dude. What's going on guys? We're gonna be targeting snook, redfish, trout on the flats. What's the first thing we're gonna be doing? The first Getting thing, bait? yeah, the first thing we gotta do is try and cast out some bait. It's been all over the place lately on the flats, on the bridges and everything. We're gonna try a local bridge over here, see if we can get some bait. It's been pretty easy lately. We'll try and black out the live well and do some live chumming, see if we can try and get snook, redfish, and trout. Cool, man. Sounds like a good plan. Hopefully we get on them. Stay tuned. First things first, we need to find bait. And Brent said he's been seeing them at this bridge. So we pulled up to the bridge, spot locked, made a couple of casts, and blacked out the live well. We're about to chum for some bait. Gotta get bait, first things first. Um, Brent's been seeing them here. And Brent's diving, so. He's diving right there. Yeah. So we should get some bait here. It's been majority thread fins with some filters mixed in. So yeah. we'll just get as much as we can to use that as live chum at these spots to get the fish really fired up. Nice snow. Oh yeah, look at the graph. Look at the graph. <laughs> look at the graph. Look at that graph. <laughs> we got a couple. Oh yeah. We, we got, got a few. We got a few chumming. We got a few. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I like to see. One and done right there. Oh, that's a lot of bait. <laughs> that's what we like to see. All right. I'm over here like, I don't see it on the graph. Dude, there's millions. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's a lot of filters. Yeah, that's a lot of filters, bro. Oh, hell yeah. Might be, might be all filtered. Dude, we, we nailed it on that one. We killed it. Oh, today's gonna be a good day. I reached out to Brent and was like, hey Brent, let's do a, let's do a live bait fishing video. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> we, we got the first part of it. Yeah. Loaded with bait. How big is the uh, the uh, live well? That one is 65. 65 gallon. In between the mangrove shoreline, there's like another tiny little spot island. It, it drops down to like four feet when the rest of the flat's like a foot thick back. And snook and red just stack up in there at low tide. Oh, and okay. just waiting for the, the water to come back. And usually once you draw some live chum, they just start popping. So I'm hoping they're there. Snook have been moving around a lot lately. All right guys, we just got to the first spot. Looks really good. Uh, it's low tide right now. Well, the water's going out. It's not It's not low yet, but it's, actually it is low. It's pretty low. It's gonna <laughs> it's be, pretty low. It's gonna be dead low tide in about 30 minutes. Yeah. But um, the spot in front of us, it drops off to what, about like three feet, four feet? Yeah, three, four feet. And all around us, it's a foot foot or less and we just kind of snuck our way up in here so now we're just going to get positioned and start throwing some some live chum up on this uh deeper yeah, hole and see if we can get some fired up was that a mullet or was that a fish that was some, a, that some was a bird i think was it a bird oh. yeah I'm, I'm on edge <laughs> Bite's been slow in the morning. The fish are there, but they're being finicky. Brent hooks up onto the first fish and it's a small snook. Nice fish. First fish of the day. Little guy. Probably the one that blew up over there. Yeah. They're not frozen. <laughs> okay, don't try to pull them. Nice, dude. There are snook here. Probably a little like 18, 20 incher. That's a pretty one though. 
Oh, oh they're in the that shallows. was a bigger one. Yeah, that was a big one. Okay. All right, they are in the shallows for some reason. Yeah, maybe warming up. Maybe. Little snook right there. Probably 18 to 20 inches, but. Oh, dude, they are oh yeah, fish are blowing up. up, so I gotta get them out there. <laughs> See you, dude. Fired up. Yeah, they're right there. I'm glad we pushed up a little bit. All right guys, so we made our way to the other side of the spot. Earlier we were on that side. The water's coming in now, so we need to be on this side so we can drift the, uh, the bait to the, the fish that's gonna be in front of us. Might be challenging task, but you can always let line out and let the bait fish swim along the current. Hopefully uh, a snook picks it up, redfish or trout. Got a fish on guys. A good one. Took long enough. Feels like he's a good one, dude. It's a good one. Oh, that is a decent one. Can we get the net? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, 20 pound leader. But looks like he's barely hooked. See that dude? Oh yeah. Knew the rest of the oh, here. Man. This might be the guy that was popping earlier and I was just, I made a pretty good pop. Yeah. Yes. There you go. <laughs> First fish of the day for you. A good one too. Oh yeah. It's always fun man when they're that size. Good job. Thanks, dude. A solid one there. It's been a while since I've caught a decent snook. Not bad. All right, let's put her back in the water. All right, guys, first fish for me. So me and Brent are, uh, what are we going for? Big, biggest slam today? Yeah, we're today. gonna try and get a slam and see who can get the bigger slam. And right now he's got me beat a little bit on the snook. So I yeah, got some, just a little bit. already got some catching up to do. <laughs> there we go. No, 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 no. Oh, baby, no. That's adorable. <laughs> like oh, half the size of the one you got before. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful, man. These guys can uh, really get you sometimes. These little ones when they flop. Razor sharp gill plate right there. Cute. Oh, yeah. Little baby little snook. Little baby snook. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> nice. Poor guy. Oh, he popped off right there. Uh, <laughs> that made him go airborne. <laughs> yeah. It's a good sign. It's always a good sign to see some babies in the area. Especially after last year with the red tide and everything. Yeah, he's got a good point, man. Red tide hit him hard, especially down south. Yeah. Wasn't as Second bad here, area. but still. It's yeah. good to see these little guys coming through because he'll be a slot fish someday, hopefully. Oh yeah. See you, dude. There you Looks go. like it's a better snook. Look a better one. A little bit. <laughs> we are we're in some numbers now. Yeah, we we're, we're getting on him. Getting on him at least. Oh yeah. saw some probably mid 20s yeah spooking so we know that they're at least worth some here <laughs> a little bit better a little bit better a little oh, bit yeah. better nice i'm over here making fun of him like i'm gonna get a dink <laughs> I mean, he's not a big one at all but not not a baby oh, yeah that's a good one Probably about yeah, a little bit smaller than that first one I got. Find the corner of the map.
As the tide is coming up, we decided to go fish the mangroves. We saw a solid redfish just cruising the mangroves looking for food. I pitched it a live pilchard and it did not want it. Brent tossed a cut bait at it and it inhaled it instantly. Seeing the redfish actually eat the cut bait and Brent setting the hook on it was just incredible. Got him, got him. That's sick bro, they wanted the big bait. Dude, that's a big one. <laughs> Let me reel my, li my line in. Oh yeah, that's a big one, Brent. Woo! <laughs> it took us long enough. Yes, sir. Dude, we sight fish that, that guy. That might be the fish of the day. Dude, we sight fish that guy. That was sick. I can loosen up on him now. On the dead bait, huh? Yep. There's two dead greenbacks with their tails cut off. <laughs> All right. They don't want to chase their bait, I guess. Is that the only one? I thought there was more. I no, I dude. I think, I mean, this was the one I saw. I'm like, dude, that's a big one. And, but we saw them just kind of cruising around the oyster bar and I had two dead greenbacks on with their tails cut off. I was going to pitch up by the mangroves, put this about 15 feet in front of him, saw where he was going and he just picked it up. I just don't like how he's right by the power pole. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just pick a side. There we go. That's a stud, dude. Yeah. That is a stud. I can't believe I missed that piece on video, but I, I'm not going to complain. This is a nice fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that might be bigger than freaking 28, dude. Dude, that's actually a stud. That's a stud. I'm, <laughs> I'm punching your hand. Wait, wait, wait. Pike it, pike it. There you go. <laughs> dude, that is sick. Dude, is that my PB? That might be your PB, man. Let's my PB was 32. Some. That's close. Yeah, you handle them. Okay. <laughs> handle your fish. Hell yeah. Ate the, the cut bait. Two dead greenbacks. That's all it took. The little one out hook in the corner of his mouth. <laughs> he tried getting me back in those mangroves. He got yeah, really dude. close. Am I there? 30. 30. 32. Am I on the front? I think so. Yeah. Red right at 32. Nice, dude. Tied my PB, but dude, that's a thick one. Here, I'll get up on the front. Oh, yeah. There it goes. See ya, dude. Dude, I think, it's a, I think it's a red. Try and get him out. Oh, man. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I was just telling Brent, I was like, dude, my bait is hanging on a, on a branch right below the surface, probably half a foot below. And next thing you know, a redfish hits it. There was more than one, man. There was like a couple. <laughs> Feels like he's pretty decent, dude. Yeah. He does was... not want to get out. He does not want to get out of the uh, mangroves. We got him, though. About time. Yo, not as big as the one you caught, but <laughs> yeah, got me a red. He's picture worthy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's 20s all day. Nice. Dude, these are beautiful fish. <laughs> I don't think he's ready yet. All these reds that we've caught so far are like picture perfect. Yeah. Like, look at that thing. Nice. There you go, dude. Now we just both need a trout. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Deal. Not bad. Smaller than uh, the one that Brent caught, but so finally, so finally landed a red today. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lost two earlier, but let's get him back in the water now. She's ready. Good deal. That was on the um, dead bait. Switched it up. Dead bait on on a uh, dead bait with a split shot. Got the job done, man. Classic. That's where they're at. I was like, there has to be one over in that shadow over there. I wasn't <laughs> recording on the cast or the initial meter or anything, but that was the cast too. Yeah, that was right up there. I think it's a little bit better than my first one. Come on. Come on. Thick 
one for not being too big. It's a healthy fish right there. 23. Here we go. About the same size uh, I caught. Yeah, probably. and this one was 23. So now I know an exact number for the slam. There we go. Change the GoPro battery. Get the release on this guy. See, dude. Hey, I just got it right in that shadow. I mean, he's a third of the size of this guy. You can handle him. Yeah. You got it. Hey, he's a little 16, 17 inch red. He's got a very blue tail. Yeah, he's lit up, man. That's oh, cool. Eating uh, blue crab. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the tail, man. Oh, we got to get we gotta get a good photo of that tail. I think he's got multiple spots as well. Yeah, they're liking the, the cut bait. Oh, yeah. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six spots on him. Make that into a painting. How many slots? Six. Three wow, on each side. Nice. Nice. Get the release on them. Dude. It's been a pleasure fishing with Brent. We always have a good time out on the water. He and I fish like once a year and I think we should change that. Go show Brent some love. The link to his channel is down below. Thanks for putting me on him today. See ya, dude.